everybody and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Imi. Hi, how are you? Um, today's video is going to be a much requested what's in my bag, back to school edition, my new Fal Raven, Raven bag. So my most popular video, if you haven't seen it, is the Fal Raven Kenken what's in my bag. I did it nearly three years ago, I think now. And um, then I did a comparison video very recently because I got a new backpack and it was the Raven versus the Kenken. I will have both the videos linked above. Um, and then I got comments on that asking for a what's in my bag. So I am going to do that today, that's it. So I'm not going to blabber on anymore, I'm just going to get straight into the video. <laughs> this is my back to school bag. I wish I was exaggerating. It is so heavy. I mean, this is a big boy. Like I said, I did a review on this bag earlier this summer, so I will have that link down below, or you can just find it on my channel, talking about the different features of it. Quick disclaimer, everything that I have in here at the moment is not everything that I will be taking to uni. Some days I will only need a few things. Some days I won't have my laptop. Some days I won't have you know, certain things, sometimes I will have a lunch and other things in it, so it will vary a lot and I will talk through them as I go through. But the very first thing I'm going to show you, I have a water bottle on the side here. These pockets are quite big, so it's actually not very snug, it kind of, I'm a little bit worried about having it in there. Um, whereas on the Cancun, they're a lot smaller, so you could put like litre bottles in here, which is a bit better. Um, this is just my Jed's water bottle, they were kind enough to send this to me and engrave it. They are a really good company, this is not sponsored just that I mention, I really like this bottle. I'll have that company linked down below. And then we have a very front pocket, and in here is literally just one thing at the moment, because I haven't actually used this yet, so I'm sure things will change as I use it. But I have a little like carry, carrier bag. Um, these are great just if you don't intend on buying any, buying something and you pick something up, or to put like wet umbrellas in, these are always good, and I like the little carrier it comes in. So I just stick that on there, I pretty much always have one of those on me, they're just super handy. Then in my second pocket, this is where the main random stuff is I suppose. So as you open it up like this, I have these little pockets, I have some things to do memo notes, then I have some gum, and in here I have an excessive collection of lip products. The glossier, the reason I both these is one because this is tinted and I like to have a tint sometimes and sometimes I like a clear one. And this one is also about to run out. This is the rose one, it's my absolute favourite. And then next to that I have a little rollable perfume. This has been in most of my bags over the past year and a bit. It's got to be empty nearly, surely. But this is just a Gucci Bloom rollable. And then down here I have my purse. I will not be taking this genie with me. I need to get a card holder. I do not have a card holder, but I need to because all I need to take is my bank card, um, maybe my provisional, and sometimes some cash. Um, but usually I don't need to. I might take my coffee stamp card as well. For like the little local place near me. Then in this top pocket on this front bit here, I have my ID thingy. I don't have my ID in it because I don't want to show you that, but that is like the holder it goes in. I have my keys which have my Tesco club card, my memory stick on there because it just helps me not lose it. And I got this little rose quartz keyring because I really like to have a crystal with me. I feel like it's giving off good vibes, healing energy. I need that at uni. Then I have my AirPods. I actually have ordered a case for these, like a silicon case so that the case won't get scratched. And it also comes in the key ring so I can attach it to my keys if I need to. Not sure if I'm gonna do it yet, but I think I might just because I like to keep everything together. So for a moment, they're just in there. And then the last item in this little wallet is my rape alarm because <laughs> this has a little torch in it. And it also has this thing that if you pull it out, it is really, really loud. I'd recommend to everybody to have those, especially if you're walking around on campus or in libraries at night times, or just if you're living in a city in general. It just makes you feel a little bit more secure. Um, I like to have one on me at all times. I haven't had an incident yet. Touch wood, it doesn't go off anywhere inappropriate, but that's one of my biggest fears, is like this huge alarm going off like in my class and everyone being panicked and being like, sorry, it's my rape alarm. Moving on, in this bottom bit, I have 
a portable battery charger because your phones die, hand sanitizer because I hate germs, a little mirror because I like to make sure I'm not looking too gross sometimes, or to see if I've got food in my teeth, that's always good too. And then paracetamol because I get a lot of headaches and um, back pains and whatnot. Next pocket, this is like quite a big compartment for like books and things. So I have a little pocket within this where I have my glasses. These are just my actual reading glasses, not reading glasses, I'm short sighted. So I can't see boards and presentations in lectures and things. Um, I also use them for screens and laptops and things. Then I have an umbrella. Again, I thought I could put this in the side, but because they're quite like baggy, I'm not sure. Maybe if I put them on the same side, there we go. Same side, they fit back perfectly now. So I have an umbrella because I live in UK. However, I also live in Liverpool, which is one of the windiest cities in the world. I don't know if that's true, I made that up, but it feels like it. And um, half the time you can't use your umbrella because they get turned inside out. So constant battle, but it's handy to have. Then I have one of these A4 wallets. If you have seen my stationery haul, I'll have it linked up above. You'll recognize these next few items I'm gonna be talking about. I will not have all of these on me on one day. Then I have my diary. Again, I wanted to show you this just in case you hadn't seen it already. This was from Anthropology, but I probably will not be taking this into uni because it is huge. Then I have a couple of notebooks. Again, I will only have one of these or the other because they are for different lectures on different days. This is just like a nice note-taking one. This is for my lectures. So again, different days. I will only take the one that I need. And then at the very bottom here, I finally got a pencil case. This was from Urban Art Fitters. And it's cute, it's got these little daisies on and this little pink detailing. I really like it. And then it's very aesthetically pleasing inside. Again, go and watch my stationery haul if you haven't already. In my video about this bag, someone was kind of to tell me because I was so confused what this pocket is with the fluffy lining. They said it's for sunglasses or for a phone. And I was like, of course it is. My sunglasses actually are in a case, but I put them in here anyway, just because I thought, why not use it for its actual use? Um, yeah, I just have some little classic round Ray-Bans in there. Again, probably won't take those every day. However, again, we do have weird weather here, so maybe I should. I don't know. And then I have this last pocket at the back, which is the one with the laptop sleeve. And I do have my laptop in here right now, in the sleeve to demonstrate it very nicely. This is a 13 inch MacBook Air. She is a bit old now, bless her heart. She is five years old. I was going to mention that I would usually have my laptop charger in here because it does wrap charge very quickly. Honestly, the battery needs replacing. The whole laptop needs replacing, but the battery is the main issue that needs replacing at the moment because it is very slow and the battery dies very quickly. So it's pretty much on and off charge the entire time I use it, which is even worse for the battery. But yeah, usually I'd have those in there as well, but for the sake of video, I didn't. I also put my laptop case in here because I quite like having the case for the laptop to rest on on my desk. I know that might sound really funny, but um, it just feels like an extra bit of, you know, cushioning. And I've got this like quite dirty <laughs> pink suede envelope one, which is from H&M, I think a year ago now. This back pocket also has another sl sleeve in it. Again, sometimes I do take my iPad into uni because I have Procreate and I do some digital drawing. So I would also put in here my iPad a phone charger for that, so an iPad charger, and my Apple Pencil, and possibly a charger for that, because I never know what charge that's on, so it's always good to just be handy to be that. One charger is the same for, like, phones, iPads, and pencils. But, you know, my point is, I always have chargers in my bag, because although I live close to uni, it is not worth walking back, because I will just stay here and never return. So... Without the temptation, I'll stay in class. That is everything that is in this bag. I know it was super quick. Like I said, not everything is in here every day. I pretty much will have a lunch in here every day, but I wasn't gonna make lunch just for the sake of putting it in a tub to put in here. It's really unnecessary. Um, this weighs a ton. So like I said, sometimes I'm gonna take my purse out and I need to purchase a card holder before I start uni because just throwing your cards in your bag is a disaster waiting to happen. It varies hugely, um, but this is pretty much everything that I would take. If I had everything in one day, add my iPad and my lunch, 
I think we've got a full house here. So that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like this video and leave a comment down below if you think that this is realistic, if you carry more, or if you carry less, because I think I've said this many occasion, my boyfriend, Joe, turns up with himself and that's about it. And he does fine. So am I being excessive? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Again, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. I love you all so, so much. I'm really looking forward to being back to uni and creating some more vlogs and uni content for you, especially more fashion-based stuff. That should be coming very soon. I'm extremely excited for that. So yeah, remember to subscribe if you are interested in this kind of thing and I will see you next time. Bye.